everybody. I want to talk to you about the new stimulus bill that's coming out and why I think you have a very important decision to make. Um, guys, this is an investment advice, but coming from somebody that has learned the hard way, uh, both from failure and success, um, how to save money, invest it, and just straight up make money, right? Um, how to have less stress in your life financially because I've set up um, multiple revenue streams in my life and I've prepared myself for hard times. So when they come, I don't get stressed out. I don't get um, worried. And, and you know, you might be out there saying, uh, what do you know you're not in my situation? But I will tell you, and I'll start telling stories as this channel grows, um, as I felt led to. But yeah, I've gone through times where I've, I've lost uh, lots of my income, where I have had to stop paying mortgages, where I was literally forced. Um, uh, and uh, the blessings that came out of that, both from knowledge, getting knowledge I didn't have before that, and making sure it never happens again. So um, I have built myself in a position that if I was to lose my job, I could go multiple years without pay, and I would never miss a bill. So that is the truth right and that's not a ooh look at me I want to share this kind of stuff with you because I do not want to see you guys get stressed out you know they say the number one reason for divorce is financial issues and uh, guys you don't want to do that you don't want to lose your 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 the best thing in the world you know uh, relationship relationship is the most important thing without good friends without good family you have nothing uh, you could have all the money in the world it means nothing so stimulus bill let's go back to 2006 I had sold all my real estate I was telling everybody get the hell out of the market nobody listened nobody gave a rat's butt because they said hey you're just jealous because I finally bought my first house they didn't know how many I owned back then but they said hey I just bought my first house and it's going up in value and look at the stock market it's going up in value and I said no everything's collapsed and people don't realize that when collapse happens um, by the time it's too late all the the rats are still scurrying in to get that last piece of cheese and um, they don't know the uh, the boss has just shut the door behind them. And, you know, in 2006, we saw, yeah, medium home prices increasing. And we saw the stock market still increasing because people were diving in. But uh, we saw interest rates having to start being lowered because things weren't working out. And we saw stimulus checks come out in 2007. Um, you know, think about it. M spring of 2007, everybody in the country got handed a stimulus check. Uh, but the stock market didn't start crashing really seriously until 2008 when people went, oh, it was the end of 2008. People went, what the hell's going on here? I saved that check. I invested it. It's it's still there. It's increased in value. Uh, the last stimulus check in the spring, I put it into Digibyte, into cryptocurrency. It is worth multiples of what it is uh, was worth in the springtime. Uh, definitely outdone the stock market on that one. A lot of people bought PlayStations with it, and they bought electronics. I hope, best case scenario, you bought some extra food with it. Uh, some people out there, they had to, to, to use it to survive. Um, but this is what I want to talk about today. I don't want to see that happen again. This next check, it might not be as big, or this money. Start setting aside, break it up into three or four different pots of money. Buy some extra food. Buy a head. Go buy an extra thing of toilet paper now before there's a rush to go buy toilet paper. Just have it. You don't have to, what's it called, um, hoard it. But yeah, I mean, for every time you go to the stop, uh, store and you, uh, you, you buy an extra thing of toilet paper, so you have six months supply if all of a sudden everything went down. That's a good thing. And if it's some moron on the, the channel wants to put out there, you're just a hoarder and you're the reason for the problem. You're a complete freaking idiot. You're an idiot. You're the problem. Because that's the reason why um, we run out of things, because nobody prepared ahead of time. And quite frankly, the on-time delivery service system is built in a way where these toilet paper companies only make a certain amount based off of usage. So if people just stayed you know, stocked up, we would you know, still have the same supply, uh, a proper amount of supply. So before you start throwing out those comments, just know there's probably for one, every one person out there going, oh, you're the problem. There's literally... Uh, 10 people behind you going yeah you're the idiot i've already prepared because it's important guys that you guys are prepared for these upcoming events because they're not going to get easier i'm just telling you that right now we're entering one heck of a difficult time in our country right now and so take your money and split it up buy some supplies buy some food 
invest in something that you normally wouldn't have invested in. I mean, you're about to be handed money. I've always thought about buying some Bitcoin. Well, then go buy a little bit of Bitcoin. You know, um, split that and stuff up equally. If you, if you're like, well, I've always wanted to buy a silver coin, but I just don't for some reason have the fifteen dollars as I'm sipping on my Starbucks coffee. Jeezo. Um, go buy a silver coin. Um, go and uh, put some cash in the bank. Uh, put some money in the bank. So spread that over four or five different asset classes. Food isn't is an asset, right? Um, you know, buy some canned goods. I can guarantee you in the next couple of years, you're going to see inflation move fast enough to where a canned good um, is going to uh, outpace the stock market returns. All right. As far as, you know, an index fund. Um, now, don't go out and run out and just go, you know, you, you don't got to go buy 10 years worth of food. You know, think logically because you, you don't want to just waste it if you don't ever eat it. And don't go buy, you know, rice and, I mean, don't buy something you're, you're going to use, right? Um, me and my wife have had to do that during hard times where um, jobs just stopped coming in. And so I'm like, well, you know, we got some extra food. We'll eat that instead of going to the grocery store. You know, we'll just tighten our waistband. Uh, ironically, I had to tighten my waistband because I lost weight. Uh, <laughs> I won't go out to eat, you know, things like that. Um, but we have a great opportunity here now. Do I actually think this is going to come anytime soon? I think it's going to come by the first quarter of next year. Uh, but I also believe it's going to have some um, possibly some horrible, you know, hooks attached to it. Like, you know, you can't get it um, unless you get a uh, what's it called? A uh, come on now. A vaccine, you know, or you'll get a bonus if you get a vaccine. Um, but I think that if you do get it or you get this unemployment, um, that it's important to do something right with it. Now, the other side about the whole unemployment checks coming in, guys, if you have the opportunity to work, go work because there's a lot of people that are just sitting on their butt taking this check. And I tell you what, you know that when you work hard, something changed, something's happening in your brain, in your cells that, um, open up oper other opportunities. But those people that are just sitting around collecting a check, thinking they're getting one over right now. That is so short lived. Those are the people that are going to be destitute. I'm telling you. And, um, you know, I know somebody on uh, line, as a matter of fact, Blind Dave. If you guys haven't followed Blind Dave, gentleman that's on YouTube, uh, physically blind. And that does not stop him from anything. He is in all kinds of stuff. And uh, it's not stopping him at all. So before you throw out the comments, well, you just don't know what it's like. You know what I do? And I hope this helps you guys because I'm not joking I've done this before when I am feeling really down because of my situation I go kick on YouTube and I go type in Special Olympics or I go type in the Olympics where people have, have uh, not only you know you know been born with certain abnormalities that, or um, you know issues that would hold them back normally from living a normal life but those that have were you know growing up you know I as a runner and then all of a sudden a, a tragic accident happened took off a leg and they go that's not gonna stop me so then i look at it and i look at those people their stories and go oh yeah i got this if i can't do it for me i'm gonna go do it for one of them because i'd never be able to look one of those people in the eyes with two legs and go see now i'm not even convicted myself talking about this i should go out and run right now i'm gonna go work out right after this because because there's always something we can do to help ourselves and help others around us so I hope as, as we're preparing for this next round of stimulus, guys, that you guys take it really into uh, inside. Take it into your spirit and, and think about what should I do with this? Because there's a lot of people out there that, you know, um, just go, hey, I could go and I could buy this with it. I could do this. You know, look at these interest rates on cars and stuff. Guys, things are at 0% because nobody's buying them. That's Think about it. When interest rates hit 0%, when a mortgage is hitting 2%, it's because that's it. We're crashing. Other people are like, well, look, the price is going up. That's an idiot talking. Okay? The only reason it's going down or going up in value is because a bunch of idiots are taking advantage of those low rates and buying something that they can't afford. This is the time to be meek. Come back to reality and go, I'm going to live like nobody today so that I will live like nobody tomorrow hope that helps you guys um i'm coming live from the 
from the bat cave so i hope you guys enjoy this if it brought some value to you guys if it encouraged you please throw it in the comments below so that other people can see that they're not the only ones that agree you know because it does help when we align ourselves with um like-minded people but guys remember if you're always in the same group and you're not growing there's something wrong there too all right with that said guys i hope you have a great day take it easy